Hi and welcome back to how to use Anna 2. In this video we're going to take a look at creating ourselves a lovely distorted acidy bass lady sound. Um, so we're going to be using a regular saw. Well actually we can go in, I think there's a TB saw. We can try that. And what we're going to do is use the ARP to create a pattern and then we can add some effects onto it. Um, the first thing I'm going to actually do is go into CMD and I'm going to create um, some notes and these are the notes that will be used in our ARP. So we can put six in, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll clear this and we'll just put notes all the way across and we'll move them about afterwards. Um, if you're making a 303 thing, generally speaking, you want the gate to be just below or just about 50%. And then obviously we need a filter. I quite like the Oberheim for acids. Seems to have a nice sort of stable resonance across the the range of the cutoff. I'll bring the curve down, put it in analog mode. We're already getting some nice acidy stuff. We can turn in turn on mono on and slide on. Actually I'll take slide off and we'll just put some portmento. And what we can do to deactivate portmento is just drag a note that's longer um, than a step. some extra notes in. And just keep playing about, add some notes in. And we can also add some swing in there to get some groove vibes. And then last but not least, we'll add some nice distortion. And we've got a few options for this. Um, the, the W shaper is good. Let me turn it on. And we've got a few different options. Um, quite like either the WK shape or fold over. Oh, no, sorry, not fold over. I think it's, is it? It is fold over. Um, and then I think quite a few of these work the tan and a tan work. And sometimes you might want to cut out a bit of the bottom end. Um, I think the WK one's the best for acids. Um, and then we can go in and see what is the other one. Clipper is good as well. Also, we've got a high gain one as well if you want it super distorted. There's actually a cab mode for that as well. Uh, 
Um, and the other thing we can do is if we go into our uh, ARP, um, I'm assigning velocity to the filter. We can then go into our velocity. We can play about with our velocities to create some sort of melodic effect. And always a nice delay on that. I use, usually use it on three. So there we go, there's how to create a, a basic acid sound in Anna 2. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.